Hello, my name is Tanner Trejo. I am from Troop 8191, and I will be performing contrasting monologues. The first being from Julius Caesar by William Shakespeare, Act 3, Scene 1, and the second, a cut monologue from Laughing Wild by Christopher Durang. Thank you. Oh, pardon me, thou bleeding piece of earth, that I am meek and gentle with these butchers. Thou art the ruins of the noblest man that ever lived in the tide of times. Woe to the hand that shed this costly blood. Over thy wounds now do I prophesy, which like dumb mouths do ope their ruby lips and beg the voice and utterance of my tongue. A curse shall light upon the limbs of men. Domestic fury and fierce civil strife shall cumber all the parts of Italy. Blood and destruction shall be so in use and dreadful objects so familiar. That mothers will but smile when they see their infants courted with the hands of war. All pity choked with custom of fell deeds and sees a spirit ranging for revenge. With eight by his side come hot from hell, which in these confines with a monarch's voice cried havoc. And let slip the dogs of war that this how deed shall smell above all the earth with men's carrion groaning for burial. The other night, I dreamt my father was inside a fake potato. It's strange, ain't it? I, I was startled to see him there, too. And I started to get afraid that, that others would see where my father was and, and how small he was. So I, I tried to close the baked potato, but he would start crying every time I closed it. So I guess it was hot, so I didn't know what to do. I thought about bringing it back to the kitchen and telling the cook that, that there's a person inside my baked potato but then I felt such guilt about leaving my father so I said sat at the table and, and cried he cried too then the waiter arrived with dessert devil's food cake with mocha icing and I ate that mm, I ate that and then I woke up very hungry. I told my therapist about my dream, and he said that it either represented the womb or where my father, where I put my father during the edible conflict. What? What edible conflict? I think my therapist is, is an idiot. Maybe I should just have a guru or a nutritionist. But what I'm doing now, it ain't working. Thank you.